Clearly, that was not the right play. <laughs> Dude, that would totally be me. What are you gonna sacrifice to win? Fuck you, do it! Oh no! <laughs> that one dad I overhyping my fucking daughter. The dad's like, Jesus Christ, you calm the fuck down. <gasps> Alright, clearly that dad's autistic as fuck. How can you tell? He's screaming. It's clearly autistic. <laughs> okay, you ever, you ever. Yeah, we watched a couple of innings. They are ready for the major leagues, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems like they're pretty good with kids. Keg stand Craig is good with children. Whoa. It's amazing how they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Let go what? I'm perfectly fine. Opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball in the center field. The tiny little goat tries to get the ball. Misses a glove and hits it straight in the forehead. See? It's a completely justifiable fear. The girl bumps down. The guy starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to check, to check, to her, checking her forward and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off of a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. The game resumes after the girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The Oshlot seem to have given up at this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. A batter on the other team knocks a fall ball in the stands. I fall the direct in. Oh no, it's coming for right for me. Oh no, 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 no. Close my eyes and brace for the impact. I open my eyes and look over to Amanda holding the softball, staring at the amusement. Huh? I caught the ball. You saved me! Yeah. I caught the ball! Dad, I caught the ball! <laughs> you did it, Amanda! Yeah! <laughs> I faced my fears! I defeated the softball! I can do anything! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! Uh, the game ends, and then Craig's uh, team has declared the victors. We He's the girl I have shake hands. Great job, everyone! Walk over to the dugout to graduate Craig, who's talking to some of the fans. Craig, great work, man! Thanks! We've been working hard all season, and it's great to see it, it paying off. So I'm really proud of my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Br'er and Hazel? Hello! Hey, killer play out there. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you! You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel? Yeah, it's me. Good looking out. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take I take all of her math tests. I usually throw rocks at stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Br'er. What? We will talk about this later. Dry, bro. I just got a couple more things to clean up. Then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team out to oh, get pizza. Man. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She says... She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Man and I share a look. All right, all right. Is it cool my bro comes along? Looks likely it puts out but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? What? It's a real place. An endless stream of girls clad in a softball gear piled up to the minivan and into the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we used to put in our bodies back in the day. Remember how we used to fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? 
Ah, uh, Pizzatko's. I can never forget. How we survive in college? Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. Kids run around playing arcades and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Hey, give me a pizza of that. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for, uh, dressing the issue, Manda. Dad! <laughs> A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day how great you are. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been hard... It's been hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Man and I look at each other again. Craig gets it up from all the angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Oh, hmm. what to do, what to do, do we gaslight this woman, I, I don't know, we'll find out in the next video, I'm gonna look this up, peace out Chris.